What is the Battle of Armageddon? The Battle of Armageddon refers to the final war between human governments and God. These governments and their supporters oppose God even now by refusing to submit to his rulership. Psalm 2 verse 2, the Battle of Armageddon will bring human rulership to an end. Daniel 2 verse 44. The word Armageddon occurs only once in the Bible, at Revelation 16 verse 16. Prophetically, Revelation shows that at the place that is called in Hebrew Armageddon, the kings of the entire inhabited earth will be gathered together to the war of the great day of God the Almighty. Revelation 16 verse 14. Who will fight at Armageddon? Jesus Christ will lead a heavenly army to victory over God's enemies. Revelation 19 verses 11 to 16, 19 to 21. These enemies include those who oppose God's authority and who treat God with contempt. Ezekiel 39 verse 7. Armageddon. This war of the great day of God the Almighty is also called the day of Jehovah. Revelation 16 verses 14 and 16, Isaiah 13 verse 9, 2 Peter 3 verse 12, those judged adversely by Christ will be destroyed. Zephaniah 1 verse 18, 2 Thessalonians 1 verses 6 to 10, this will include the destruction of the worldwide political system, pictured in the Bible by a seven-headed wild beast. Dot. Revelation 19 verses 19 to 21. Will Armageddon literally be fought in the Middle East? No. Rather than being restricted to one area, the battle of Armageddon will encompass the whole earth. Jeremiah 25 verses 32 to 34, Ezekiel 39 verses 17 to 20. Armageddon, sometimes rendered Har Majidan, Hebrew Har Meghidan, means Mountain of Megiddo. Megiddo was once a city in the territory of ancient Israel. History tells of decisive battles that were fought in its vicinity, including some that are recorded in the Bible. Judges 5 verses 19 and 20, 2 Kings 9 verse 27, 2329, however, Armageddon cannot refer to the literal area near ancient Megiddo. There is no large mountain there, and even the entire adjoining low plain of Jezreel could not contain all those who will fight against God. Instead, Armageddon is the worldwide situation in which the nations assemble in their last stand against rule by God. Regarding the Battle of Armageddon, Mr. Graham has stated, the Bible plainly forecasts the coming of yet another great war. It will be a war to eclipse anything the world has ever seen. It will embrace most of the nations of the world, and its focal point will be in the Middle East, where the armies of the world will someday deploy themselves, centering at Mount Megiddo. This great war has been called the Battle of Armageddon. In the midst of this terrifying war that could destroy civilization, the Lord Jesus Christ will return to this earth in glory and power, to judge the nations of the world and set up his own glorious kingdom. The scripture describes this great battle in the 16th chapter of the book of Revelation. The sixth angel will pour out his vial upon the great river Euphrates. We are told that the waters of the Euphrates River will be dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. The dry riverbed will permit unhindered passage of the great armies of the east to the scene of the battle. Unclean spirits, demons, will go out into the world to the kings of the earth to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty, verses 12 to 14. The armies of the world will focalize on a point known as Armageddon, the Mount of Megiddo, 
and there the final world conflict will take place. The extent of this conflict is indicated in the ninth chapter of Revelation, where the army that is to cross the Euphrates River is described, and in that chapter the immensity of this final world war is carefully described. We are aware of the shuffling of the stage in preparation for the greatest battle of all time, that will certainly take place in the years ahead. The crisis of the present hour should shatter the optimism concerning human nature of every person listening to my voice. The only reliable hope for the future must be bound up in a living faith in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord. What will conditions be like during the Battle of Armageddon? While we do not know how God will use his power, he will have at his disposal weapons such as those he has used in the past, hail, earthquake, flooding downpour, fire and sulfur, lightning, and disease. Job 38 verses 22 and 23, Ezekiel 38 verses 19 and 22, Habakkuk 3 verses 10 and 11, Zechariah 14 verse 12, in confusion, at least some of God's enemies will kill each other, yet they will ultimately realize that it is God who is fighting against them. Dot. Ezekiel 38 verses 21 and 23, Zechariah 14 verse 13. Will Armageddon be the end of the world? It will not be the end of our planet, since the earth is mankind's eternal home. Psalm 37 verse 29, 96 verse 10, Ecclesiastes 1 verse 4, rather than destroying humanity, Armageddon actually saves it, because a great crowd of God's servants will survive. Revelation 7 verses 9 and 14, Psalm 37 verse 34. Besides referring to the earth, though, the word a world in the Bible sometimes refers to wicked human society opposed to God. 1 John 2 verses 15 to 17, in this sense, Armageddon will bring the end of the world. Matthew 24 verse 3, King James Version. When will Armageddon take place? When discussing the Great Tribulation that culminates in the Battle of Armageddon, Jesus said, Concerning that day and hour nobody knows, neither the angels of the heavens nor the Son, but only the Father. Matthew 24 verses 21 and 36, Nevertheless, the Bible does show that Armageddon takes place during Jesus' invisible presence, which began in 1914. Matthew 24 verses 37 to 39. Thank you for joining in our video, don't forget to share and subscribe.